everybody. I'm Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library at our downtown branch in Lancaster. And today our virtual programming is about a program that we are doing with the Works Museum out of Newark, Ohio. Um, so a little backstory. The Works is a really cool hands-on science museum geared sort of mostly towards elementary school students, though they've got some cool stuff for preschoolers and middle schoolers as well. And they got all of this grant money this year to run some really awesome programming, and then the pandemic hit. I think everyone knows that story. So they had to rethink how they wanted to do things, just like the rest of us, and they decided to do some bags to hand out and they're partnering with different libraries and different organizations around the state to distribute these bags so people from the works museum will be here at the downtown branch of our library uh, thursday september 29th from 11 to 1 again that's thursday september 29 from 11 to 1 and they offered to let us use one of their bags to show off some of the things that are inside of them. So the bag they gave us is the Bridge Builder Mini Design Challenge. And the idea is, is that this bag is full of stuff that you can make different kinds of bridges out of. And let's see, let's see what's in here. Very neatly packaged up so nothing floats away. Let's see, there's some scratch paper that you can design things on as well as some pictures of different kinds of bridges from around the world. There's a bundle of straws. There's a paintbrush. A stack of index cards. Some masking tape. Some glue, which I imagine is what the paintbrush is for. A little car. That's always fun. And some popsicle sticks. Now the directions, such as they are, the instructions are on the little sheet on the bag here. And it's actually a series of three challenges. It starts talking about the basics and it builds from there. So I went ahead and I did the first challenge that was listed on the sheet, but only the first challenge, just in case one of you get this bag to take home. I didn't wanna do the whole thing for you. So what it recommends to make the first bridge is that you start by making different kinds of shapes out of your index cards and your masking tape, and then seeing how well they handle being squished or moved around, how sturdy they are, basically. And then going ahead and using those shapes to make the strongest bridge that you can that's at least eight inches long. And the idea then is that you test it with the little car and so forth. And I, I made a couple different bridges actually, because I was curious. I had a theory, but to test the theory, I had to actually do more than one to see whether or not my theory was right. And I'm not going to tell you what my theory was because the whole, the whole fun of it is that you're coming up with theories of your own. Uh, they did not include a ruler, but there we go. So, and then because I was having so much fun making bridges out of index cards, I went ahead and used completely different shapes to make a whole new model of bridge, which I'm sure is also what they had in mind. So that was just the first challenge and it kept me occupied for quite a while. It was a lot of fun to experiment with and to fiddle around with. Other challenges in this bag include making even longer bridges out of straws and then even longer bridges out of popsicle sticks that hold heavier and heavier weights 
and it sounds to me like a great way to spend a weekend. So I hope I see you all on Thursday, September 29th from 11 to 1 where members of the Works Museum will be passing out bags in our parking lot. They have bags for preschoolers, elementary school students, and middle school students. They have tons of different topics, tons of different kinds of bags. So even if this one doesn't float your boat, I'm sure they'll have an option there that will appeal to you. And uh, well, stop on down, have a good time. And please remember that if you're planning on coming into the library, you have to wear a mask. They're giving me an exception because I'm making the video, but otherwise everyone who's in the library needs to wear a mask at all times. Thank you so much, have a great day, and I'll see you on the 29th. Bye!